One of the biggest challenges facing advertisers right now is making sure their ads do not appear next to offensive content on Internet sites. Now, that has been a major focus of the annual Can Lions Global Advertising Festival, which attracts brands, platforms, and media companies from around the world. Julia Borston is there for us tonight. At this year's Cannes Lions Festival, brands and advertisers gathering here on the French Riviera have a big issue on their minds. Offensive and inappropriate content that could be running next to ads. So they're coming together to announce a new solution, the Global Alliance for Responsible Media, which includes the media buying agencies from all the biggest ad conglomerates, the tech giants, including Facebook, Google's YouTube and Twitter, and 16 of the world's biggest advertisers, including Procter & Gamble. What we're what we will do together is establish some common standards that we can all abide by, very similar to what we've done on TV and in radio, and where we know we have control over the content and we know that there's control over editorial comments. By coming together and having that, then we know that we can advertise in places that are safe for consumers and safe for our brands. With the big ad platforms all here in Cannes, this is the first time they and all the other sides of the industry have come together to tackle issues ranging from violent and offensive videos to content targeting pedophiles. With the goal of first tackling content that poses a threat to society, such as terrorism, the Alliance's members say addressing everything from hate speech to misinformation will build trust by creating a new common standard and accountability. Yeah, I think this is the, uh, the Peter Finch network moment or maybe now the Brian Cranston network moment. I'm mad as hell and I'm not going to take it anymore. The brands need to, to speak with their money. They need to you know, show what they're doing. They need to not just move their lips, they need to move their feet. And companies such as Twitter, which have invested in cleaning up trolls and fake accounts on their platform, say this will be key for advertisers and Twitter's users going forward. You know, it's just common sense is listening to our customers and what's happening uh, and us not looking to compete on something like brand safety. This is something that ultimately will help everyone succeed. It's important that we have trust in our ecosystem. In many ways, I think this will be part of the legacy that all these companies are laying for you know, for the future. And the future for the ad industry is not just innovative spots that break through the clutter, but also environments that are safe for brands and users. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Julia Borston in Cannes, France.